Hello, and uh, welcome back to a, another one of Connor's Whiskey Reviews. You might notice that um, due to uh, uh, cabin fever and isolation and everything, my hair is and beard has gone in contempt and I completely <laughs> let myself go. I can't find a hairdresser that's open. I'm sure you've all got a similar problem. Uh, I also had an accident with my beard trimmer. Darn thing broke and I had to throw it in the bin. I've got a new one ordered, but I don't know when it's going to arrive. We'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, second thing you might notice is um, I've decided to stop advertising people in my glasses. <laughs> I'm going to use my proper whiskey glasses, which is, I've uh, got these nice crystal glasses I use that um, I really like. It's what I usually drink out of, so I'm going to start using these anymore in my whiskey tasting. Today, you might notice um, I've got it already here. I'm going to taste and test and give you my opinion of, uh, to be honest, one of my favorite whiskeys, Yellow Spot. Now, Yellow Spot's a cracking whiskey. I um, it, it's it's one of my favorites. Uh, it's um, this is a twelve year old. You got the, the all the spot whiskies. I don't know if you're familiar with them. You got your Green Spot. Yellow spot and uh, red spot. Um, I believe they're releasing a blue spot as well. But anyway, and uh, there's only three I uh, tasted. The red spot's amazing, um, be it quite expensive. The yellow spot's the one is like I think it's your value for money. It's a cracking whiskey. So you're talking about a twelve year, um, three cask maturation bourbon sherry and Malaga casks. Um, non chilled filtered, what are we talking? Probably talking quite strong, probably 45 to 47, I'm guessing. Uh, what is, what are you, where is your percentage? 46, 46%. Good whiskey. Let's give this a go. So, I'm gonna have a shot of this neat. I hear my wife wandering around the house. I wonder if she's going to pop her head in and join me for a whiskey review. I doubt it, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> right, let's we'll see what this is like. I obviously I know exactly what this is like, but one thing in all whiskey reviews I'm going to do is I'm going to drink it like I've never tasted it before. And the reason is I find myself drinking whiskeys and I'm not focusing on the tastes and the smells of it. I just drink it and I like it. I drink it and I don't think about what's going on in this whiskey. So let's, this is why I'm drinking it like I've never drank it before. I'm trying to figure out what tastes are in there. Now, I've just noticed I never smelt it, but I usually just smell it first. I just went straight in there and drank that. <laughs> it's incredible. It's, it's, it's chocolatey, coffee. It's almost like, um, uh, Dare I say it? And it's a taste like a chocolate apple. It's a fantastic whiskey like that. It's um, I'm I'm back smelling it now, and I'm, I'm I'm a bit all over the place this one. It's because it's one of my favorite whiskies. I absolutely adore this whiskey. So. Again, look, look with all your Irish whiskies, you get that lovely buttery smell off it. It's fantastic. And that butterscotch and um, what else is in there? There's, there's um, some interesting smells off that. Very woody. It's like a buttery woody smell. It's quite nice. You can get the little bit, you can smell the sweetness. You can tell that that's, that's been that's been in some different casks. You can you can tell straight away they've put that through some sort of a, um, let's say a sherry or a, or as they say, you know, by reading the bottle has been done through those casks, but you can really tell that. You can tell that there's been there's some sort of a sweeter edge in it, like a sherry or a bourbon cask in it. You can tell it, and the, the kind of the, the, the woody outdoor smell. It's, it's a hard one to describe. I don't know what exactly it is. I'm sure I've read the bottle, it'll tell me. <laughs> is, it, is it just me or do you, does, does nobody else ever read a bottle and say, I wonder what taste this is going to give me before I taste it? I just 
dive into these whiskies and I give it a go and see what happens and see whether I like it or not. That's, that's my judge. On a basis of one to 10, how much you like this? And it's either I like it a lot or I don't like it. <laughs> so what else am I getting from this? All right, so after initially you get a, um, a sweet chocolate hit and then you get a spice. Um, which is quite normal in your whiskies. You, you just always a middle round of spice. And then you get a nice oaky, almost caramel. That's interesting. There's something, something caramel. There's something peppery about it, which I quite like. It, that spice is almost a peppery spice. Um, which sometimes when, when I'm tasting other whiskies, it, they're, they're almost a, um, they're a softer spice. But with a yellow spot, it's more of a peppery spice I get of it. It's 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 ah oh, it's 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 fantastic aromatic. That's what it is. It's an it's more you know the that peppery spice is a slightly aromatic um hit you get to it. That's what you get with the yellow spot. As well as well as those slight sweetness, slight coffee edge, and then your standard oakiness. Now I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this and see. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. I generally drink a yellow spot straight. I drink it neat because that's the way I like it, right? But I'm going to add a little bit of water to this and see does that make any difference. Not too much, just a touch, just to open it up a bit and see what happens. Now, everybody's got their different tastes, and I've said this before. There's some whiskies I would have with ice, without ice, with a drop of water, and some people they're very um strict and they'll say always oh, open up your whiskey with a bit of water or they'll say no drink it neat or oh, they'll be adamant and they'll peg a load of coke into it which i'm completely against but anyway i think each whiskey is quite different and it deserves to be treated differently and that's my opinion of it and i don't i figure out myself what i prefer in a whiskey and i just i deal with that whiskey in the way that it, it opens up to my palate and that's how i deal with a whiskey i think everyone else should do the same I'm going to put a bit of water in this and let's see how does that change the taste of it. So if I go back to what I was thinking before, I think smell wise, it was, um, it was quite, I think it was outdoorsy that I call it. It was woody, outdoorsy, kind of a, that buttery kind of a smell that you get with them all. And then taste wise, there was definitely a chocolate apple, I said. A chocolate apple with maybe some sort of a peppery spice torn through the middle of it, aromatic peppery spice. But a finish of like an oaky, how would I call it? There was an oaky, almost caramel oaky finish of it. And that's kind of how I would describe a yellow spot. Now, I've added a little bit of water and I've rambled for a little bit. It's got a, it's got a chance to open up with that. So let's see what it has done. Well, that's quite interesting. That's changed it. I'm, I can smell a little bit more sweetness off that now. Almost like a toffee apple now. That's interesting. And I didn't get that before. And more herbal aromatic, slight toffee apple. There's something, there's something, something like a herbal oil coming through. I can never, I'm terrible at different types of tastes, but there's something like that. And it's not, a eucalyptic type of oil, it's something else. There's something else sort of oily coming through in that, which is very, very nice. Now that's, for me, <clears throat> not as nice as water in it. It's still amazing. It's, it's a touch sweeter. But I think it's dampened the flavour a little bit. And I think, I think now, not, not, not in a detrimental way. It hasn't just completely got rid of the flavour and it's completely bland, which is what I found it did to a blended whiskey I tasted in the past. In this instance, it's still got, it's packed full of flavour. And do you know what I mean? It's this, um, it hasn't lost any of that. The sweetness comes through. It's kind of lost that peppery edge. Oh no, it hasn't. That peppery edge is still there, but not as herbal. 
it's toned it all down and the finish the oakiness has come a little bit off the finish so it's yeah it's it's a bit like it's a bit like everything i was before but a little bit down a bit and that's why i drink a yellow spot, a yellow spot straight i find that i preferred to not put anything in it and sip it just just really just sip it and enjoy it because i find adding that water to it now has it's made it easier to drink to be honest it's made it much easier to drink but and i probably drink it much faster but this and i'm telling you why it's because the flavors and everything stood a bit and now i find it easier to drink And my wife is joining me here from Whiskey Week. When I'm in my Whiskey Week, no, she decides she doesn't want to. But that's okay. We'll, uh... <laughs> Sorry, I'll edit this out. It's okay, I'll edit it out. So my wife came in and demanded a vodka. And I'd better go make that for her now, right? Um, but uh, in short, um, the yellow spot, that was, you know, it's, a, it's an amazing whiskey. One of the best whiskeys. It's um, that, that I... I I'm not going to say regularly buy it because it depends on how much money I have. <laughs> but look, excellent whiskey. Um, my recommendation is to have it without water and drink it slower. That's my recommendation. I find that the taste works much better. Than it. But, you know, don't listen to me. Bring the way you want to drink it. Cheers.